Another perspective now. Our next guest, resident scholar and director of Russian studies at the American Enterprise Institute, Dr. Leon Aaron. Dr. Aaron, we just asked John McCain a few moments ago this question. Let me ask you this as well. In your opinion, are the Russians just doing Bashir al-Assad's dirty work now and killing the people that are coming after him? I think they are trying to uh, preserve the uh, Bashar al-Assad's regime at, at any cost. Uh, I, it was clear to me that uh, the way Putin operates, he'll bomb indiscriminately. Um, and probably, knowing, knowing how he operates, the American allies um, will probably get the brunt of it. What, in your opinion, is his endgame? No one seems to quite be able to nail that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Only the White House cannot figure out his, uh, his game. Uh, it's, it's, it's obvious. A, he is, as he's done for the past 10 years, he's trying to regain uh, the glory of the Soviet Union to reacquire geopolitical assets lost in the Soviet collapse. So this establishes Russia as a dominant, dominant outside player in the Middle East, and not just outside. We are seeing an alliance. Russia, Syria, Iran, Iraq. <laughs> That's... That's extreme. That's coup d'etat. I mean, that's, that's coup de main. This is very important. Is it, Sadly, is it fair to say also that we're looking at the Russian ability to hold on to the naval base in the Syrian coastal city of Tartus? That's huge to them when it comes to actually being a big player in that region, yes? Uh, you know, this was the original thought. This is way beyond that. This is way beyond it. What they established, in, yeah, they had a Taurus port, but now they're having in Latakia a major air base that are constantly expanding. They are becoming a regional player, not just the holder of that port. There's another consideration, another part of the end game. And that is that the only thing working for that regime, as the inflation is up, ruble is down, food prices are up, and the economy is shrinking, is foreign policy. The glory of Putin, the defender of Russia, and the projector of the glory of the uh, former Soviet Union. This is another uh, end game. And the final end game is Russia is scared, and I think rightly so, that the victory of Taliban in Afghanistan and ISIL in Iraq and Syria will lead to the collapse of Central Asia, the soft underbelly of Russia, and then bring ISIL and Taliban right to our, our Russia's borders. Fifteen seconds. U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein says she thinks it's possible that Russia's move in Syria could be a positive development. How naive does that sound to you? Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. I, I, I need to move to California to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think moving to California is going to help at all, because quite frankly, thinking that it's a good thing just basically shows how somebody has no idea of what's going on in the Middle East right now. Dr. Leon Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. On deck, maybe it's not really a big deal at all that John Boehner is out as House Speaker. Maybe it's just a smokescreen for something else or for someone else. Stay with us. The Hardline continues.